and my tour guide and today we're gonna go find some uh, monks yeah and some smaller temples we're gonna try all right let's go <laughs> No monks here, so we are on to our second place. I didn't think it would be so hard to find monks in, in uh, Cambodia. They seem to be everywhere in photos, but really, that hasn't been my experience. <laughs> so, I really want to find some. Okay, so I just got to temple number two, and as I am walking up, my bloody shoe breaks. So after my shoe broke, uh, there was a tour guide and this really sweet Cambodian woman who saw that I was struggling trying to figure out how to fix my shoe so I'm not walking around barefoot all day and she literally gave me the shoes off of her feet so I could tour this temple here I'll show you my awesome shoes that I'm rocking at this temple at this temple in this monastery here. This one is a bit more off the beaten path in Cambodia. I hope you guys enjoy some of the footage that I was able to take. I, I wanted to be respectful, so I, I didn't try to film a lot, um, but it was funny. At one point, <laughs> I was uh, taking a photo of a monk, and the monk, she uh, pulled out her phone and took a photo of me. <laughs> I love the feeling of um, being enchanted with each other's culture, I think is mutual which is one of the reasons why I love I just love traveling in Asia so much So I have just had a really amazing experience at this monastery. Um, I was walking around the temple. I walk into the monastery and uh, male monks cannot touch women. Um, so you have to stay far away from them. But female monks you can sit with, you can talk to, you can hug. You know, I stumbled into a female monastery and it was so unbelievably beautiful. I joined in the session for an hour and I met these lovely Buddhist monks and we sat there and we prayed together. You, know, you don't need to speak the same language in order to speak the language of love. And there was just so much joy and so much radiance and so much happiness that I could feel just being connected in that one hour with them. And it could make me almost cry because it was such a, such a beautiful, beautiful moment. 
This is the very, very sweet woman who let me use her shoes today. Yeah. And I thank her so much, so thank you. Thank yeah. you for letting me use your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shoe shopping now. Okay, okay so let's find some okay. shoes. Okay. So this monk right here was the very first monk in Cambodia and his name was, uh, what was it, Ron? Junan? Junan, yes. Junan, yes. I got it right this time. Yeah.